Antibodies, or immunoglobulins, can be subdivided into different classes according to their structure. There are five classes called IgG, IgE, IgD, IgA, and IgM, each having different functions. The class of an antibody is determined by its heavy chains and each antibody can be produced either as a cell surface antigen receptor on B cells or as a secreted molecule. The secreted form of IgA is a dimer of the basic four chain structure and IgM is a pentamer. Naive B cells which have not encountered their antigen initially express IgM as their surface receptor. The heavy chain of IgM is called a mu chain and a B cell makes a mu chain by transcribing its recombined VDJ gene together with exons for the constant domains of the IgM heavy chain. These are called C genes. C genes for the other immunoglobulin classes lie downstream of those for the IgM. An individual B cell can switch the class of antibody it produces. This process occurs in the germinal centers of the lymph nodes, spleen, and other secondary lymphoid tissues. Class switching is accompanied by a second process, somatic mutation, which increases the overall affinity of the antibodies produced. A primed B cell enters a germinal center and undergoes rapid division. At the same time, a mechanism is activated which introduces mutations into the DNA around the recombined VDJ gene so each B cell has a slightly different antibody. Occasionally, a mutation will generate antibody with a higher affinity for its antigen. Follicular dendritic cells in the germinal center hold stores of antigen on their surface. B cells compete with each other for the antigen, and only B cells whose mutations have produced higher affinity antibodies will compete effectively for the limiting amount of antigen. This is now processed and presented to T cells, which signal division and differentiation. But B cells with low affinity antibodies have no antigen to present to the T cells and die by apoptosis. The interaction with T cells also promotes immunoglobulin class switching. Look now at the heavy chain gene locus. The IgM C gene is preceded by a switching region, which corresponds to switching regions preceding the C genes, for all the other immunoglobulin classes except IgD. Here we see the event which occurs as a B cell switches from making IgM to IgG1. The C gene for IgG1 replaces the C gene for IgM, placing it next to the VDJ gene. Now the transcript from this encodes an IgG1 heavy chain, but with the same specificity as the IgM since it uses the same VDJ gene which encodes the variable antigen binding part of the antibody. Exactly which switch will take place depends on the T cells and the cytokines they release. So the T cells determine what type of antibody response will be produced. B cells leaving the germinal center may become antibody secreting plasma cells or memory cells. As a consequence of these processes, the affinity of the antibodies tends to increase during an immune response and this is associated with a switch to production of IgG, IgA, and IgE. Secreted antibodies have many functions. The IgG antibody can act as an adapter. The two FAB arms of antibody have identical antigen binding sites. These form multiple non-covalent bonds with a specific antigen. The FC portion of the antibody can link to FC receptors on cells including phagocytes and natural killer cells. This allows these cells to recognize their targets. For example, IgG can opsonize bacteria for phagocytosis by neutrophils. It can also activate the complement system causing deposition of C3B. IgG is also transferred across the placenta from the mother to protect a child in the uterus and during its first few months of life. Meanwhile, other B cells may have switched to the production of IgE. This type of antibody binds to receptors on mast cells and basophils so that if they should contact antigen, they release inflammatory mediators. Other B cells, particularly in the payers' patches, may have switched to the production of IgA. 
IgA is produced as a dimer of the basic four-chain immunoglobulin unit, linked by a joining or J-chain. Cells of mucosal epithelia combine IgA and transport it across to protect the mucosal surface. Some antigens, particularly polymeric carbohydrates, are not recognized by T-cells and are called T-independent antigens. So the antibody response to these antigens shows neither increasing affinity nor class switching. The antibody against such antigens is predominantly secreted IgM, which is also the principal antibody in the earliest stages of an immune response to conventional T-dependent antigens. Because secreted IgM is a pentamer of the basic four-chain structure, it is effective at cross-linking antigens and also fixes complement.